what's happening, yo? This week on Thug Notes, we getting regal with Hamlet by William Shakespeare. This shit's going whack up in the kingdom of Elsinore. The old king's brother Claudius going and married the king's old breezy Gertrude. And Queen Gertrude's son Hamlet getting all crunk since his mom acting like a hoe. Things get straight stupid with some guards peep the ghost of old King Hamlet creeping on the castle. Then them guards holler at Hamlet and tell him he gotta check this ghost. So Hamlet step up to his ghost daddy who tell him that his brother Claudius was plotting on the crown and straight up iced his ass cold blooded. Ghost daddy tell Hamlet that he gotta strap up and put a toe tag on that fool Claudius. Street justice, know what I mean? Back in the castle, Hamlet's boo Ophelia getting an ill fool from her daddy Polonius and her brother Laertes. They say she need to steer clear of Hamlet since he might just hit it and quit it. Ophelia says good looking out and ignores all of Hamlet's hollering. So when Hamlet acting cray cray at the thought of Glock and Claudius, everybody just think he loves sick. Later, Hamlet decides he's gonna put on a play that really knocks how Claudius ghosted the old king. When Claudius sees his crime happening on stage, he books it for the exit. Now Hamlet knows for sure Ghost Daddy been spitting the truth. Later, Hammy rolls up to his mama crib where she asks him why he be disrespecting the king. All the while, Polonius be hiding listening in. When Hamlet and Gertrude get all up in each other's grill, Polonius screams like a bitch. Thinking it's that fool Claudius, Hamlet shanks that cat right through the curtain. Uh. Now Laertes getting crunk about Hamlet killing his father, and Ophelia starts losing her shit. So Claudius comes up with a plan that Laertes should dip his sword's tip in poison and challenge Hamlet to a duel. And if that don't work, Claudius gonna put some poison in Hamlet's wine. Now shit gets even more real when the queen busts in and says Ophelia done drown. Damn. As Laertes and Hamlet bang out, the queen toasts to Hamlet, but accidentally slams some of that poison juice. Then Laertes and Hamlet both stab each other with that poison blade. Just then, Gertrude bites the dust, and Laertes starts snitching at Hamlet how Claudius be trying to poison him. So Hamlet stabs Claudius and makes him drink from that poison cup. Mmm, Elizabethan haterade. Gotta have it. In the end, the royal family all land in chalk. So the kingdom goes to some other soldier boy named Fortinbras. Now all throughout this play, Hamlet be all torn up about the task of putting one in Claudius' dome and keeps the land. His procrastination is one of the most debated subjects in all of Shakespeare. Some ballers think it's because Hamlet be too much of a sensitive bitch to kick it in a world of gangsters playing dirty on the street. Others think that Hamlet got mad edible complex up in this motherfucker. Since Hamlet wanna get freaky with his mama, he can't bring himself to gat the man who doing what he wanna do. Kill his pop and get down with his old lady. Some cats even think that Hamlet just trying to buck the system and bring down a crooked kingdom overflowing with lies and treachery. And speaking of lies, you might have spotted our bard Willie Shake slinging images of skin disease all up in this easy. When Hamlet dissing his mama in act three, he be talking about the body and souls, ulcers, places, and blisters. And in 5-1, the clown gravediggers be yapping about pocky corpses. All this nasty ass shit showing how although these fools be fronting looking righteous, they ain't got nothing but ruin and corruption underneath. Now you just ain't going hard in the paint unless you realize how this play captures the ambiguity of modernity. Like the modern man, Hamlet ain't got a clear devotion to a code. In fact, Hamlet be tripping up because of his divided mind and will. How's a brother gonna keep it real on the street with all these ethical and metaphysical uncertainties, my man? We peeping that uncertainty in my boy's famous to be or not to be speech. Some OGs think this speech mean Hamlet can't decide whether he wanna live or die. But my other brothers think that he trying to choose between the Christian ideal of denying thyself or spilling some blood to claim his throne. But Hamlet ain't the only one who be confused. In the play of life, the bard gone ain't even cast us as characters of uncertainty. I mean, check all these uncertainties, player. Can we really trust Hamlet's ghost daddy? Was Gertrude in on the whole thing? Can everybody see the ghost in act one, but only my boy Hamlet in act three? Is Hamlet just pretending to be crazy? Or has his mad fiction become fact? Looks like old Willie's going and made Hamlet's of us all. Yo, I hope you're feeling educated today, player. Tune in next week.